A woman jogging in a park in southwest Houston strangled and sexually assaulted. Police and Crime Stoppers are now hoping a detailed sketch and description will be key to tracking down that suspect. Officials say he is dangerous and of course they want him off the streets before he does this again. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor is live now with more. Brooke, just a dangerous person. Yeah, this all happened at 930 in the morning, so broad daylight over here and the area we're in. It's busy. There have been children playing on the playground all day long and officials say that's part of why this is so concerning. The fact the suspect wasn't even trying to hide it. I can tell you this is an extremely dangerous dangerous individual. Crime Stoppers and Houston police trying to get this man off the streets. He's accused of sexually assaulting a woman who's jogging along the trail at the park on Blue Ridge Drive and West Orm on December 19th. A detective with Houston police says the woman in her 30s noticed a man on the bench and he ran after her shortly after. The suspect then picked up the complainant and slammed her on the, on the ground. Terrified, the victim says he then threatened her life with a sharp weapon. They went to an area where she was strangled and sexually assaulted. She was able to give police a detailed description of the suspect who was wearing a maroon shirt, jeans and cowboy boots at the time. He also has a rosary tattoo on his lower right hand with four letters. And the fact that he was doing this out in the middle of the day, the middle of the morning where anybody could actually stumble or see tells me that we got to get this guy off the street. The brazen sexual assault taking place in public which is why officials believe he didn't care if anyone even saw, leading them to believe he's capable of doing this more than once. Michelle Sachs with the Houston Area Women's Center says this type of crime is rare. Um, sexual assaults typically are perpetrated by someone that you know, by someone that's close to you. It's very rare that it's someone like out in public like that. Sachs says the biggest safety tip is staying aware, but that responsibility shouldn't be placed on victim survivors. She wants people to know they're not alone and have resources, including crisis advocates who will meet sexual assault victims at any hospital. And we will send someone out and um, they will stay with them and um, help with next steps. Crime Stoppers is offering a $5,000 reward. As always, anyone can call anonymously at 712-222-TIPS. So there's no doubt in our minds that somebody knows who the perpetrator is and we're asking you to Stand up, do the right thing. In Southwest Houston, Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.